been almost one month to the day since a man burst into a local Cracker Barrel restaurant and shot his wife and two daughters. Police then shot and killed Kevin Allen. Tonight, the only survivor of that family tragedy has died. Good evening. I'm Danita Harris. And I'm Chris Flanagan. Kayla Allen was placed in hospice care last week, and late this afternoon, her family issued a statement about her death. News Channel 5's Deborah Lee is just back from Strongsville, where the Allen family lived. And, Deb, this has got to be a real difficult time for everyone who knew this family. Oh, it really is. One neighbor is so numb that he couldn't even speak to us on camera, but he called Kayla and her mom and sister angels. Good people just a joy. The memorial that once filled the front steps of the Allen home in Strongsville is gone, but the tragedy here is far from over. Ten-year-old Kayla Allen has died now, just a little over a month after she and her sister Carrie and their mother Katie were shot by her father at the Brooklyn Cracker Barrel. Katie and Carrie died that night. It's it's sad. It's very sad. It's still difficult for neighbors passing by to look at the house where they always saw Kayla and Carrie playing outside, sometimes on the trampoline, sometimes roller skating in the driveway. They were just always happy, happy girls. I never saw a day when they weren't happy. It's sad. When I go over, I have to cry. I don't know when I look over there. You know, it's just the idea because I knew them. Her family says Kayla died peacefully, surrounded by family and friends who were able to hold her, love her, pray for her, and say their goodbyes. On this street where Kayla lived, hearts are breaking again. It broke my heart, but at the same time, you know, some people say it's for the better because now she's not going to be going through life, you know, with that horrible memory, but it's, it just breaks my heart. I also spoke by phone to the family's pastor tonight, Pastor David Anderson. He said the outpouring of love by the community in the aftermath of the tragedy has been wonderful to see. In the newsroom, Deborah Lee, News Channel 5.